Almost 2,000 jobs at Homeabus are under threat after the Dai Chain's owners today announced a review of the business. Homeabus' Australian owners was farmers warned as many as 40 stores could close amid poor trading results and a £454 million impairment charge related to its takeover of the company. The Homeabus acquisition has been below our expectations which is obviously disappointing was Farmers Managing Director Rob Scott said. In light of this, our view of Bunnings UK, the unit of West Farmers that owns and runs Homeabus in the UK has commenced to identify the actions required to improve shareholder returns. The group later confirmed that between 20 and 40 of the worst performing Homeabus stores could close down in the latest blow to the British High Street. Asked which stores would be affected. A Homeabus spokesperson told Thysis Money it's too early to say and it's not appropriate to speculate at this point. Our team will always be the first to know of any updates. Homeabus operates from 250 stores and employs 12,000 in total in the UK. Poor trading at Homeabus is expected to drive Bunnings into an underlying loss of £97 million for the first half of the year. Was Farmers said it is writing down £37 million in unsuitable stock and £53 million in deferred tax assets. We need to address underperformance in our portfolio that is detracting from positive performance in other areas. And the announcement today sets out decisive actions to achieve this, Scott added. Bunnings acquired Homeabus in 2016 in a £340 million deal and has been attempting to reposition the brand. As well as revamping the stores and slashing prices, Homeabus is in the process of being rebranded as Bunnings. But was Farmers said that its review will evaluate the performance of rebranded pilot stores to inform the future plans for Bunnings UK. Also Peter Davis, the man who spearheaded the foray into the UK, is to retire from the business with Damien McLaughlin taking his place. The potential store closures follow a miserable January for the High Street which has seen thousands of jobs disappear after Sainsbury's. Tesco and Morrison's also swung the axe. Retailers have also been hit by a surge in Brexit-fueled inflation which has seen the cost of goods rocket and consumer confidence plummet since the EU referendum result. West Farmers is also taking a £306 million Australian dollars, £172 million pre-tax impairment linked to its struggling target retail chain in Australia. Last year the new Australian owner of Dai chain Homeba suffered a £28 million loss in the UK. Where the freaks at?